Yeah, it's Mitch here. Um, so this is going to be a quick video on uh, simple teleportation mechanics. Um, I'm going to be using the Vive, but it's applicable to the Rift and any other HMD stuff. So I am in the third person template uh, in 4.11, and I'm in an empty folder, and I'm just going to create our pawn, um, tele pawn, let's say. And basically everything from this video is going to go in this one blueprint. So first things first, I'm just going to create a function um, called uh, trace get teleport location, Sh sure. And that's going to take in two inputs, a vector and a vector, and it's going to be position and the forward. Sorry, vector. Cool. And what we're going to do with those is a simple trace. So I'm just going to trace, line trace by channel. And um, if you, I'm going to go through this pretty quickly, but if you don't know exactly what's going on, feel free to check out my um, introduction to interaction. I'll link that in the description. Uh, so I'm just going to scale this by. Around 10,000 and add it back into our position. Put that on our end. And just for this video, I'm going to debug draw um, just so we can see where we're looking. Uh, if there's a real game, you probably want to add some fancy mesh or animation or something like that to that. So we're just going to break out this hit. And now I'm going to create a variable and it's going to be um, can teleport. And another one just for our teleport location. And this is just going to be a boolean that just says if we can teleport or not, and this is just going to be where we can teleport to. Okay, so I'm just going to grab our hit location from our trace. Uh, actually, the hit normal, sorry, is what I want. And I'm just going to do a dot product on that. Um, just going to dot it against an up vector to see if. The normal is uh, facing up, so we can assume it's basically ground if it's facing up. And that's just going to be a value of, let's say, 0.9 for this. And I'm just going to set this can teleport to this if statement. And we're good. And now I'm just going to do an if here. And set our teleport location to our um, impact location. Sorry. And then, just for demonstration, I'm going to debug, sorry, not debug, debug draw a uh, cylinder. So I grab this start here, and for the end, I'm just going to grab this normal again, and I'm going to scale it up a little bit, say 20 centimeters, add back in our vector. There we go. And the radius, I'm just going to put, let's say, 50. And we should be good. So just to test this, I'm going to chuck in our pawn. Oh, sorry, I probably should call this function. So I'm just going to add a camera component quickly. And then I'm going to call trace get teleport location every tick. And it's going to take in our camera's uh, get the world location. And I'm going to get its forward vector as well. Cool. And save and compile. And now we have this. Um, I'm just going to turn this around quickly just because uh, my vibe setup is a bit, a bit weird where I'm facing backwards. So yeah. And order this says player to player zero. And I'm going to hit play. And so as you see, if I'm looking at this wall, nothing really happens. But then I look on the ground and then a little cylinder pops up, which is cool. It's exactly what I want. And I can look up these stairs as well, which is pretty cool. Cool. So now for the actual teleport. I'm going to go back into our blueprint and add a new function um, called teleport to location. Sure. And it's going to have one input, a vector, which is going to be our location. Now, what we want to do is grab this and add our relative position of our camera and this is just going to be because um, our HMD will have an offset so we just got to account for that in our teleportation. 
So I'm just going to split these two structs and we only want to X in a Y just because um, our Z is already taken care of us by the camera. So if I just go to set actor location, okay, and attach that and plug that in, we should be able to test it. Oh wait, one sec, we'll just need to implement that as well. So if I just go left mouse button down, and of course this will be whatever input scheme you want in your game. And I'm just going to check if we can teleport, then teleport. And I'm just going to teleport here. Sorry if I'm going to be a little bit fast. Um, trying to get this simple one out of the way so we can go on to the more advanced one. So if I hit play, and we can look at the wall, and I can click away and nothing happens. But if I look at the ground and teleport, you can see, just go to whatever loca location we're looking at. So over here, teleport to the middle of that P. But as you can see, there's one floor in that um, if I go close to these objects, I can teleport really close and get them comfortable and almost go inside them like that. So a little quick fix to that is simply to add a nav mesh. So what I'll do, and use that to um, cast onto it. So if I just chuck in a nav mesh bounds, and I'm going to lower that down, and I'm going to scale this up a little bit, and then scale it to fit our level. And then I'm going to hit P on the keyboard, and it'll show us our nav mesh and what it looks like. So that's pretty cool. And we're basically going to project onto this and then um, see if that's within our bounds. So if I go here and in our trace, I'm just going to grab this and a quick little tip. If I hold control, I can drag it off and then use this. Um, so I can go nav mesh project point to the navigation and set that to our teleport location. And so now if I try this again, we won't, we, won't, we, won't go, we won't be able to go um, past these bounds, which would be cool. So if I look, you can see if I go to the stairs that it locks me out and I can't move any further. Or to this little thing here, it locks me out, I can't go any further. So I can teleport and I can teleport and can't get that close to it, which is cool. So that's a uh, really simple tele teleportation mechanic. Um, you can easily just uh, throw in your motion controller, world position, and forward director if you want to use the Vive or something like that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Next video is going to be on more advanced stuff. We'll get into using uh, an interface and stuff like that, and we'll try and do uh, parabolic um, traces and stuff like that. It'd be pretty cool. Yeah, okay, thanks for watching.